I'm Valerie Bertinelli. You may know me from Valerie's Home Cooking and Kids Baking Championship. Today, we are making one pan baked cod with asparagus, artichoke hearts, and olives. And if you're cooking along with me, you can go ahead and get your oven preheated to 400 degrees right now, and then we can get started. You ready to go? Okay, let's do this. Hopefully you have a pound of asparagus here. So these guys have been cleaned. Now we're gonna take a few out at a time and trim them. There's all kinds of rules and thoughts about how you can trim and how you can take the woody stems off of asparagus. A lot of people like to, and I've done this, when you wanna, there, you know this is the woody stem and you don't wanna eat it. Even when it's cooked down, it's still woody and it doesn't get, gather any of the flavors of any liquid that you cook it in. So we know this is about where it's gonna be. All of them are a little bit different though. So instead of doing each one of those, I'd like to gather and get all of the tips as even as possible. I'll just cut down until I reach the first woody stem. So here's a bite-sized piece, here's a bite-sized piece, and here's a bite-sized piece. The rest will go. And you keep doing that until you've gone through your whole pound of asparagus. So let's do that again, okay? Here's another bunch and get the tips all even together because these, this part is the most flavorful part. It's my favorite part. And if you get them all nice and even and then cut about two inches, inch and a half, whatever, and then down to the woody part. There you go. It usually gives you about three. One more and we'll do it again. Get all the tips in a line all together and then you cut down. There we go. And that should be good. Now, we're not gonna get these sauteed yet because we wanna get all of our veggies together. And we really want to get the aromatics cut up and started. Shallots and garlic or onions, those are aromatics and those are really usually the base of any really yummy sauce that you're gonna cook in. So we're gonna take our shallot and we wanna just do rings here. This shallot is kind of cute. I can see it's hugging on each other. So we're gonna grab the biggest part of this guy and save the small one for something else. Now what we wanna do is cut into this and get rid of the paper skin. So we're gonna take that off. Come here, you. And usually what's underneath of it. There we go. I really like sauteing shallots in, in a delicate dish with fish. I like using shallots more than an onion. You still get that nice onion aroma and flavor, but it doesn't overpower the fish. So we get little rings of our shallot here. Slice it semi-thin. You want these to really get tender and soft in the sauce we're gonna create for our cod. And if you're afraid of cooking with fish, this is a really terrific fish to start with. It's um, it doesn't have a really strong flavor. You can add a bunch of great flavors to it. It's firm. It, it really bakes easily. So it's, it's easy to try out cooking fish. We're gonna grab a couple cloves of garlic. <laughs> That's a nice big clove. That actually might do. So give it a little pop with your knife and that should loosen the thin skin the paper skin that's all around it. Maybe give it a little slice. So it was two cloves, a big one and a little one. So we'll get this little baby one out and we'll use her too. I really think it's worth the effort to use fresh garlic. It tastes better. I don't like the garlic that's in the preservatives. This is just better. We're gonna slice this as thin as we can and these are gonna saute up in some oil. Let's get this nice big one in there. Raw garlic can be pretty pungent, but once it hits warm oil and starts to saute down, it gets a little sweet. Okay, so we have our garlic and our shallots already sliced and ready to go. So let's heat up our pan and get some olive oil in there. And I wanna give these guys some time to really soften up. So I'm gonna get them right into the olive oil. And then we only have one more thing to slice up. And that's our olives. We want everything in nice, delicate pieces. So let's grab our Kalamata olives. 
These are a nice, intense, briny, salty flavor. This goes great with fish. We just wanna give a nice slice long ways. There you go, just like that. That way you can get the perfect bite in there, a little bit of olive, a little bit of artichoke hearts. Oh, speaking of artichoke hearts, if you're using frozen artichoke hearts, get them thawed and rinse them. And if you're using canned, go ahead and rinse those artichoke hearts now. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. Let's stir the shallots and the garlic and the olive oil. They're making some noise. They were asking me, please stir me. If you guys are making noise at your, your house too, go ahead and stir those aromatics. And then continue to cut your olives in half. This adds a nice salty bite to the whole dish. You're getting different textures, different flavors. And I think that's important with fish. Sometimes it can be a little boring so you can, there's, you can do all sorts of things surrounded with fish, things that you wouldn't normally think of. These ingredients would be also great with chicken, but we're gonna do it with cod, because cod deserves to be the star. And I don't want you guys to be afraid of cooking with fish, like I was in the beginning, and I avoided it for a long time. And then when I started really cooking with fish and realizing how easy it was and how quick, it's a weeknight meal just made for quickness. Okay, those are really starting to soften up beautifully. That's a nice thing about shallots too. They're so tender and they're a little bit more delicate so they cook up faster. Get a little bit more heat on that. Okay, our olives are ready. I'm just gonna put them back in their bowl so I can plop them in when I want to. And when you look through your artichoke hearts, if they're not cut up the way you like them, just take a look at them. You want nice, small, delicate pieces, you can slice them in half, slice them in quarters, depending, because they're all different sizes. Okay, these are really starting to really give the room a beautiful aroma. So now it's time to get the rest of the veggies in here. We're gonna start with our asparagus, get that in. Then get your artichoke hearts in. and your Kalamata olives. And then you're gonna get a tablespoon of capers. Let me give this a quick stir first. What we're doing is we're making a bed for our cod pieces to lay on and get flavor as it bakes in the oven, all in one pan. All right, let's get those capers in there. Capers, along with the olives, add this nice salty flavor. So you wanna definitely get them drained. If some of the liquid gets in there, it's fine. I always put a little extra capers in. Love the flavor. These always go in my tuna sandwich. You can see how the asparagus is starting to change color. It's getting more of a vibrant green. So we are gonna add a little bit of white wine. And whenever you use wine for cooking, use a wine that you would love to drink yourself because you're going to taste the flavor of the wine. The alcohol will definitely cook out and evaporate. You're still gonna be left with that flavor and you're gonna want a flavor that you enjoy. So any white wine that you like, as long as it's on the dry side, you don't want something too sweet in here. That will work perfectly. All right, let's get a little quarter cup of wine in here. So before we go get the cod, I want you to grab a lemon. Let's get our lemon cut in half because we are gonna use the juice of this lemon, but not until the heat goes off. So while the wine evaporates, and cooks down, let's go get our cod out of the refrigerator. We have four, we have four beautiful pieces of cod. I love how thick they are. Once they bake for about 15 to 20 minutes in this 
luscious little bed that we've made for it. They're gonna be flaky and tender. It's gonna be terrific. But we do need to get some seasoning on them. So I'm gonna grab some tongs. So I don't get my fingers on the fish. And we're just gonna season one side. Let's get the pepper over here too. Season up. And then turn them over and season the other side. Salt. And pepper. Let's turn the heat off. All that wine has evaporated. Yep, looks great. Now let's get some lemon in there. Nice bright lemon flavor. One more. A quick stir again. Then make a nice place for all four of your cod pieces to lay in there. Nestle them right in. Oops, get in there. Now your oven should be preheated to 400 degrees, so let's get it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can press pause right now, and in about 15 to 20 minutes, we'll look at our fish. This smells so good. I can smell the lemon. I can smell the, the olives. It looks beautiful. So let's get a lemon sliced up. You can slice it up however you want just so that you can get some juicy lemon juice in there. Right. Oh boy, this looks really good. Just grab a nice piece of fish. Oh, it looks beautiful. Look at that. That looks amazing. Grab some extra veggies. The shallots are still pink. It looks so pretty. A springtime dish, beautiful. Let's get this in here. Get a little lemon on here. Pretty. Shall we have some? Come on, let's. Look at the way that fish just flakes apart, so tender. Look at that, that looks gorgeous. Let's get some shallot. Ooh, and asparagus. Mmm, 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 mmm. The asparagus still has some crunch to it. Oh my gosh, these flavors together. Mmm. The artichoke hearts make it. It's so good. It's, you've got a beautiful one pan baked cod with all of these great spring veggies in here. This was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for cooking along with me.